is our power and peace is the new success. Many of us are so impatient and have such a challenge with timing, just the timing of things. And this has been something that keeps coming up for me over the last couple of weeks. I mean, even to the point of the the meeting I had with some amazing women today, we talked about timing. And a client of mine called me this week with an amazing, amazing update. I mean, she had had an opportunity to spend a day with a client on her end that basically paid her to come and be a part of something big that they're doing and beginning to really support and participate in some great things that she's doing. Well, why was that so important? It was important because about a year and a half ago, she was absolutely devastated by the fact that this particular company she had tried to partner with. I mean, she had for about six to eight months did all the right things. She met with them and talked with them. She had an amazing deck. She made sure that she had all of their key points and their key performance indicators. She made sure that she had a strong return on their investment. Every component was met. All the I's were dotted and the T's was crossed. And so for about eight months, they talked and worked together and came to the point of a yes. The head of marketing said yes. The marketing department was on board. And so the the last piece is just really usually a formality. And that means you run the opportunity through legal. Well, when the opportunity got on legal's desk, they came back with the devastating news that the company could not participate. They couldn't partner with her on this opportunity. And she was devastated. She called me in tears. Her hard work, gone her partner gone. The reality is, is this was an anchor that was gonna launch her brand and was a very important component of the strategy she had put together. And so she was devastated. And after a few days, she regrouped, recovered, and basically knew that she had to keep going, which is what she did. So a year and a half later, for this same company to come to her and bring her in and want to collaborate with her was such a testament to timing. See, none of that work was in vain. It was just about the timing of it. And so there's three keys that I've learned through my issues and challenges with timing and that I've heard over the last two weeks that's very consistent with many others is there's three important lessons that we can take away when we're struggling with the timing of things. One know your value. One of the challenges, one of the growth opportunities of when you want something to happen, when you're ready for something to happen and it doesn't, is it really forces you to look at who you are, knowing your value, knowing that sometimes it isn't about what you do or don't do. It's about the timing of the situation. The second key is you have to stay positive. See, the one thing that my client did is she dusted off her hurt, she dusted off of her, 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 what she felt like was a major disappointment, and she just realized, I've got to stay positive. She knew what she was bringing to the world would have impact. She knew that she brought value to the world, and so she stayed positive. And the third key is to keep moving. Keep moving. The reality is this corporate partner would have made it much easier for her to get to her end result. But they said they weren't able to participate. But guess what she did? She picked up the phone and made call after call, stood past no after no, and she kept going. And instead of being able to do 10 or 12 of these great opportunities at one time, she was able to do one here and then one there and then another and then another. And a year and a half later, she's accomplished everything she wanted to accomplish anyway. See, that's the key to timing. She learned so many valuable lessons. I've learned so many valuable lessons when I've surrendered to the timing. When I've known my value, I've stayed positive, and I've continued to move forward. If this has helped you in any way, please share it with a friend. I would love for someone else to get the same information that you've received, if it had any impact on you and your story. I'm Sherry Riley, and I am Exponential Living. 
Exponential living is a lifestyle of pursuing peace, choosing clarity, and living courageously.